So here we are, this is uh, This is what happens when a, a river floods the town, which is basically built in the wrong place. Um, the town turns its back on the river. And in doing so, it makes the river a hostile environment for everybody. Um, very difficult to access. Visually very difficult to appreciate the the walls are above head heights along quite a lot of the stretch. And to compound the, uh, the effects, we have the, the dead water that, that sits above uh, the weir here. This, this is one of the bigger weirs in town. The number of which evades me for the moment. I'll have to look at my file. I've more eight, I think. But just getting to it uh, is difficult. And this is one of the areas where you really don't want to fall in if you're fishing. There's, uh, and we do fish this stretch when when the water's high. If you do fall in. There's no handholds, there's no shrubbery, nothing that you can get a grip on to stop your downstream course into this massive weir pool here. So let's check it out. As you can see, the uh, perhaps you can't, but uh, the river bed is effectively dead at this point. It's completely silted up, covered with a thick layer of mud. This uh, blockstone, massive pile of blockstone here, goes back about 10 foot, 3.0 meters and more at this point. It's, uh, it's more like 6 meters on the, uh, the right bank. It's got a very deep weir pool beneath it. And quite a, a structural head difference too. There's 
there's a good uh, there's a good two and a half foot jump getting on for a metre jump in the on the right um, here not too bad really I've seen worse the the fact that the stones are steps makes it better for the fish but as with the other ones just a few stones from the cap that make a massive difference to the river and to uh, get rid of this unsightly dead water and just redundant part of the river this Note to self, this is actually Ogmore 8. 